<laughs> Death can't come unexpectedly. Um, and when you die suddenly, there's no moral to it. You know, sometimes people just go. And it's not satisfying. Because if you, if you just leave, if you disappear, there's no prestige to it. So what I've been doing is foreshadowing my own death whenever possible. <laughs> you know, when I leave someplace, I'll be like, catch you in the next life. <laughs> or um, I'll just be walking around and be like, I don't usually carry this much cash. <laughs> or the other day I said, boy, I could go for some death. <laughs> and it's not always what you say, it's, it's sometimes it's just how you say it that lets people know that you're going to die in a few hours. Like, um, I love you. Or, uh, or bye bye. <laughs> Or, I'm sorry, did my banjo wake you? <laughs> <laughs> Guilty jokes. Hey, welcome, y'all. Hey. These are good friends of mine. Uh, please welcome good friends of mine. Hey. Hey. Best enthusiasm you deserve. Thank you. Um, cool. Uh, next up is me observing my own hand shaking. <laughs> oh, of course, yes. Uh, the Lutherans believe that when you die, <laughs> your soul just sort of goes into hibernation um, and until the second coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and I didn't know that until I was on my way out of the church and I was very confused at that point does that mean that Billy Graham is just waiting for us to finish up earth before he can meet Jesus and what about the people that are supposed to be going to hell do they wait around too or do they get damnation immediately and more importantly where are the Catholics during all this. <laughs> Those crafty Catholics get away with everything. Um, the other day I was eating some cheese, and I had wine, so I had wine. And then I remember that I had some wheat crackers, so I had those too. So I'm drinking my wine, I'm eating my wafer cracker, and I think about Jesus for one second, and I did a communion. <laughs> Jesus said, remember me when you eat and drink. And I'm like, I don't, I left the church on good terms. I don't need to be drunk texting them in the middle of my pastafarian ceremony. <laughs> the ceremony of eating cheese and having cheese. It's a sacred ceremony. And I just ate Christ right in the middle of it accidentally. <laughs> Beware, okay? Jesus is just around the corner. Be vigilant. You might stumble into a prayer. <laughs> I mean, what is God damn it? But a command addressed toward God with a capital G. <laughs> the OG. <laughs> uh, so Facebook knows everything about us, I guess. They're all up in our business. They they know what we like and they're gonna give it to us. Doesn't sound all that bad, you know? <laughs> Maybe the future of advertising is just gonna be like you see an ad. You cry, you buy it, you feel complete. That's Maybe that's what it's going to be from now on. Amazon looks at your purchase history, they're like, oh, you got two pillows and the board game clue. I know what's wrong with you. I'm going to send a care package right away. And you get it and you're like, oh my gosh, thank you, Amazon. You're the father I never had. <laughs> <laughs> then you get the bill in December. Huh? If Amazon's my dad, why am I paying the alimony? <laughs> <laughs> if Netflix is my friend, why doesn't it want me to do anything? <laughs> right? <laughs> if Ben and Jerry are my sugar daddies, <laughs> why don't they want my body for the way it is? <laughs> why are they trying to destroy it? <laughs> There's one thing that Facebook does very well, and that's reminding me who I was two years ago. <laughs> In New York years, that's eight years. <laughs> and my soul just turned 30. 